What is up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm giving you guys a tutorial that you guys have been asking for on our Instagram account for the last few weeks. I'm going to show you guys how to get those blue desaturated moody winter photos. Let's go. So a couple of weeks ago I switched my Instagram feed from fall tones to winter and you guys have been asking me to give you guys a tutorial on how I actually edit my images. So today that is what we're doing. I'm going to show you guys how I get that moody desaturated winter look. So we're going to use this photo I shot of Lizzie when we were on our trip when they came down a couple of weekends ago. I'll link the video up here if you want to check it out. If you guys are just starting in photography, the key is to shoot your photos in raw. You're going to be able to push them a lot further in post. If you don't really understand raw or why you need to be shooting raw, we actually made a video about it last year, so I'll link it up here if you want to check that out. Import your photos in Lightroom. I've got my photo of Lizzie open right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring the shot to a more normal looking white balance. So I'm just going to come over here to the white balance and I'm going to hit Auto, and that usually gives me like a pretty good starting point. It's a little bit warm, so I'm gonna adjust that a little bit, drop my temperature down. Okay, so now I'm gonna come down to exposure. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna double click on the word exposure. Lightroom is then going to bring the exposure to where they think it's gonna be based on the histogram. I'm gonna do the same thing for my highlights, my shadows, my whites, and my blacks. All right, so now you can see we got a pretty contrasty image. I find that the whites are a little bit hot, so I'm actually gonna bring those down a bit. Always watching my histogram when I'm editing. I don't want things to be too dark or too bright. First thing I like to do is actually go all the way down to the calibration. It's at the very end on the uh, right side of your screen. You'll see shadows, red primary, green primary, blue primary, and this is kind of where I like to take the different types of colors in the photo and kind of just push them around. So I usually like to start with the blue on the hue slider. So I'll just kind of slide that around. Key here is to making sure that your skin tones look neutral. No matter how much stylizing you do to your photo, you don't want your subject in your photo to look gray and ashy or dead. We don't want Lizzie to look dead because we like Lizzie. The next thing I'm going to do is come up to my tone curve and I'm actually going to add a little bit of an S curve that will just add a bit of pop to my photo. This part of the histogram are the shadows. Over here are the highlights and in the middle are the midtones. So I'm going to make a point in my shadow so I'm just going to bring that down a little bit and then I'm going to come up here to my highlights and make a point and I'm going to bring that up. That's my S curve and I turn that on and off. You can see how that brought down my shadows a little bit. Now the shadows are a bit dark so I am going to bring those up a little tiny bit more. I'm going to come back up to my exposure tools and I'm going to just boost the shadows a little tiny bit. The tones are looking okay, but now we need some more color. So we're gonna play with the hue sliders. The reds are looking a little bit too pink, so I'm just gonna kind of play with this slider till I like the way her skin tones are looking. Minimal adjustments will make a huge difference. Now I'm gonna come over to saturation. I'm gonna drop my blues a little bit because I want those to be really desaturated and subtle. And now I'm gonna come up to my temperature and I'm gonna just adjust this a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little bit more cold. Just drop that down. You can see it's starting to make the image a little more blue, but her skin tones are starting to fall apart. So we're gonna come back down to our hue, saturation, lightness, and we're going to adjust those a little bit. I'm gonna come back down to my calibration my blue primary and I'm going to bring those over a little bit just to enhance her skin. We had a pretty good starting point there, but I want the shadows to look bluer. I want them to look more cold. So that's where I'm going to come down to split toning. I'm going to just jack up my saturation for now so I can see what colors I'm working with. And I'm going to use my slider just to kind of pick something in between the turquoise and blue. And then I'm going to take my balance and I'm going to bring that up so it's just affecting the dark parts of my images. I don't want it to affect her face. And then I'm going to drop the saturation down a little bit on that. See, it adds just kind of like a subtle blue turquoise to the shadows. I don't know why I keep dragging on my strings. Her face is looking a little bit dark, so I'm just going to bring up the highlights a little bit. My blacks down, get that contrasty look. Still think that her skin tones are a little bit off, so I'm gonna come back down and adjust them in the hue, saturation, luminance, sliders. Like with any photo editing, you're gonna make an adjustment and then something else isn't gonna look right, so you're gonna go back to the other part. So if you're constantly going back and forth between your temperature, your hue, saturation, lightness sliders, your tone curve. It's kind of going back and forth, making adjustments, tweaking things. It's not just kind of one and done. It is a process to kind of experiment and play with those things to, until you get the right look. Then I'm going to go over to my brush tool and I'm going to just ever so slightly just paint in a little bit of her jacket. And you have all of the same controls under your brush tool as you do for the regular adjustments. So I'm going to bring the shadows up there a little tiny bit and also boost the clarity a little tiny bit in her jacket. Okay, I'm going to adjust my crop a little tiny bit, but I am going to add a little vignette 
that on this. I think the photo is a little bit cold, so I am going to just increase the temperature. As this is seriously, it's just playing with your sliders, playing with your colors until you get it right. I'm going to actually boost my vibrance to about 27, and then I'm going to drop my saturation, so it's going to take the edge off that color. If I hit forward slash on my keyboard, I can see where we've started. It actually doesn't look bad out of camera. You could totally use it on a camera. It's kind of pinky bluey. I actually like it. But afterwards, this is a bit more of a stylized look. And that is it. So that is how I edit my photos for Instagram for right now. I change it up every season. It kind of gives me the opportunity to try new things in Lightroom, to kind of develop a new style, and to actually get out and shoot photos specifically for that season. So I've been having fun getting out in the winter, shooting some winter shots. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We'll see you on the next one. I just want to like put this up and like tie this up and then like get like right here and then just like take a nap. Don't ever put a couch in your office, it's too tempting.